Hello and welcome, my name is Andre Palmer and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to send your finished arranged beat in FL Studio 20 to the mixer track and how to export the beat so you can have all these files if you're going to use another program like say for instance Pro Tools, Cubase, um, Studio One or any other program in a different studio to either mix down or do a recording or anything like that in a separate program. Alright, so to do this, we are going to go to the sequencer window, right? If you notice the numbers at the side, what the numbers of the side represent is that each channel is a different, each number represents a different track on the mixer. So I'm going to reset everything to, to sh basically show you how to assign a track to the mixer. Alright, so all you do is click on it and use your mouse wheel and drag up to one and then you go to so basically just assign each instrument a number and that represents the that represent where it, you assign it to the mixer track. So and as it and eight. Alright, so as you can see here you now, each instrument has a mixer track. So what you want to do now is assign, as like how they're assigned now, is to label each instrument. <laughs> Alright, so I know that the first number one is my kick. Number two is my snare. Number three is my hi hat. So what I'm doing in order to rename them, I hold down shift and I click and it comes up. Or you can right click and click rename and change icon. It's the same thing. So I know that one is my bass. Number five is the saw. Number six is the arm. And number seven is my lead. All right. So now that each instrument is assigned, that's how you assign all your, your instruments to the mixer track. In order to export them, now so you can use it in a program like Pro Tools. You have a file, export, wave. And then once you have the wave, now you find a folder. I'm going to create a folder now. Call it rhythm. And then I save it. But one thing to ensure is to ensure that split mixer track, it is under the miscellaneous tab. The first thing on the right hand side, split mixer track is enabled. And start. And that's it. So once it's finished, you'll basically in the folder that you created, you'll see all the tracks that you want. And that's basically it. That's how you assign your rhythms instruments to a mixer window in FL Studio 20. And that's how you export it to get a split file so you can import it into a program like Pro Tools. If you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments below if you're not subscribed to the youtube channel please subscribe follow me like me on facebook and stuff like that um and yeah one love